Yoga practice. Let's stretch and relax. Give your heart a Thank you so much for joining me today. We will do a lot of stretching and a lot of flowing. So if you're ready, let's start. So we start with the seated side stretch. So reach the arm over your head, look up to the sky and feel a deep stretch in your side body, waking up that area. Now go back to center and we will do the same thing on the other side. So waking up that side of your body, reach it over your head, try to stay in a beautiful line. So don't come forward, just stay where you are at the center. Now this time we extend our left leg out and again we take our side stretch. Reach over your head. You don't have to touch your toes, just try to go as far as you can. Now we do the same thing on the other side, so also stretch that opposite leg out. Reach your arm over your head and wake up that body, the sides. Now go back to center and we roll our head around, our neck, our shoulders. You can move the way you want to, just play around with it a little bit. Now go to your all fours position and push yourself to child's pose. So we relax our whole lower body as well. Now roll all the way to your upward facing dog and go back to child's pose. So we're creating now a little bit more of movement through your whole body. Inhale and exhale, child's pose. And again, inhale, upward facing dog and now at this time we tuck our toes and we go to our downward facing dog this is the first downward facing dog of the practice so it can feel a little bit stiff in your hamstrings but just walk it out take your time with this now round all the way to plank and exhale downward facing dog inhale plank Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, make this as fluid as possible. Now go to your chaturanga. Inhale as you reach to your upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. This is great, a great way to wake up that whole body. Those legs, the back. You can massage a little bit your legs because it can feel quite stiff still. Now reach your right leg all the way up to the sky. Flex your foot and stack your hips on top of each other. You can stay there and really work on the opening of the hips. Or you can take your wild thing. So you flip all the way over. Really opening up your hearts up to the sky welcoming a beautiful fresh new energy now go back to the stacking of the hips now bring your knee towards your chest between your two hands and lift yourself up cartwheel the arms to your warrior two strong warrior two now again work with your breath as you inhale reach up Exhale, 
warrior two. Inhale, extend the leg, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale and exhale, warrior two. At this time, we hold our warrior two and we release to our peaceful warrior. Feel the engagement of the leg that is bent. Feel the stretch in your sides. And with your exhale, ex extended side angle. Reach to the opposite side. Now inhale, peaceful warrior. And then again with your exhale, extended side angle. See if you can reach this time all the way to the ground. But you don't have to do this. This is a beautiful exercise to wake up your whole body. Now try to extend that front knee and hold it here. Now bend the knee again back to your warrior two. Now we cartwheel the arms. And bring your hands together. Walk the feet towards the end of the mat and release it in your lizard pose. This is a beautiful pose to increase flexibility in your hip flexors, in your hamstrings. Now bring your body up, hands between your knee, and then lift yourself up to your high lunge. Step it forward. Now reach the arms up to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And now hold it here. Release all of the tension out. Now inhale, as you stand up, reach tall. And exhale, forward fold. Make this as fluid as you can. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, welcoming this beautiful day. And now exhale, stay in your chair. Try to find your balance on your tippy toes. Bring your hands together to your heart. Now lower all the way to the heels of your feet. And release it to your mat. Now inhale, opening up and exhale, rounding out the spine. Inhale as you reach up, look up and exhale, round out the spine. And at this time, we round all the way to our mat, rotating your knees and your legs around. Now extend the legs, grab your toes and bring your knees as low as you can to the ground in your happy baby pose. If you can't reach your toes, you can hold your feet or your ankles, really opening up the hips, welcoming beautiful new energy, new blood flow in that region. Now bring your knees together, extend those legs and rock yourself up and again back and step it to your plank. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Now we reach our left leg up to the sky and this time we bend our knee and stack the hips on top of each other. Now, if you want to take the, your wild thing, you're more than welcome to do so. But if you want to stay in this position, just stay there. Take this practice to your own level, to your own needs. Opening up the hips, creating a new energy for yourself to start this day now we go back to our warrior two I will turn around to face you you just stay there and hold it 
really strong warrior two. Now inhale and exhale as you lower. Inhale, extend the leg, reach your arms up and exhale, lower. Inhale, reach up, exhale, lowering warrior two. Inhale, reach and exhale, warrior two. Now we hold it, a str strong warrior and then release to your peaceful warrior. Try to find your balance. Engage your whole body, your core as well. Now, with your exhale, go to your extended side angle. And again, we work with our breath. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, extended side angle. See if you can take yourself all the way down. Otherwise, you just keep your knee bent. And again, warrior two. Now hold it here. Turn around and go to your high lunge. And exhale, lower down. And we're gonna take our lizard to this side. So again, walk the feet towards the end of the mat and release forward. Creating flexibility in your hip flexors. The other side. This is a beautiful pose to create new energy as well in your hips because a lot of negative and unwanting energy is kept in your hips so it's good to release it now bring yourself up to your high lunge and at this time we step back and we take our chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale child's pose you can finally take a deep breath calm your whole body give it a rest You did a beautiful thing for yourself this morning. So you can feel really proud at yourself. Now go back to center, take a comfortable seating position and reach your arms up to the sky. Gather all that positive energy and bring your hands towards your forehead and towards your heart. Calm your mind, calm your body, signaling your body that you did a beautiful thing, that it's time to wake up, feel re-energized, feel at peace with yourself, with where you are at this moment. And again, reach your arms up, hold it here welcoming beautiful new energy and bring it towards your heart and say thank you towards yourself for doing this beautiful practice and thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you very soon feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little bell below this video you can also follow me on Instagram at Yogi Carmen to stay up to date of all of my new videos and content I create. Thank you again and I see you very soon.